So I've been accepted to the closed beta of Gwent. Um, I used to play it a lot in The Witcher. I haven't played it for about a year. I've had a few practice matches, two or three practice matches, just to get back into the spirit of things um, with the Skellige cards. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to go into a casual match and I'm going to try it out. So this is the first time I've played like a proper match. Okay, so I'm going to play with Skellige because that's the one that I've been practicing on. And we will see if we can find an opponent. Okay, so he's Skelliger as well. I'm just going to call him he for ease sake. <clears throat> Alright, so that's a pretty good one. Okay, I don't like the young Berserker very well, so I'll see what we can get. Yep, that's a good one. Um, I think that's a pretty good deck. So I'm going to go with that, I guess. Oops. Okay, I didn't mean to do that. Damn it. Okay, I'm going to try it. Redraw it. Oh, Scorch. Alright. So I didn't mean to change that card. <laughs> oh well. Okay. Third turn first. This is cool though. This is very cool playing against someone in real life after playing so many people on the on the Witcher. Um, so I want to start out with someone who gets powers when they die. I guess Chort could do that. Transform. Mm, I'm going to try Chort to see if he's going to try and kill. If you kill that cow, it comes back as something better. So I'll leave him one option if he uses one of the kill cards. Okay. So I've got an option whether to forfeit this round because he's quite far ahead or keep playing. Hmm. Let me think. I'm going to forfeit this round to him. This is what I did in the practice rounds and it worked pretty well so We'll see what he's going to do. Okay. He's got that round. Hopefully he's played one of his good cards early. Okay. Alright. We've got two revive cards, which is good. I don't understand why they all go up one. I'm not too sure of all the mechanics yet. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, um, don't have much to bring back yet. I might just, just because he's a gold card, so nothing can um, affect him. So that gives me 12 points that they can't take away from me. It's a good solid start. Okay, they're thinking. They're not playing too many good cards. I feel like they're trying to get me... They're possibly thinking about forfeiting this one. And they're trying to get me to play some of my good stuff. So I'll play something I think is weak. So this young berserker, I'll play him. They could... <laughs> well, he's intense. Um, I think that they might forfeit this round. No. Okay. Um... So the safe option here, I guess, would be to match him. So if he plays a rain card, he only hurts us both equally. Oh, okay. Okay, so he's helped himself. Still fairly behind me. So I'm not sure of all the mechanics in this game yet, so... I'm making the wrong decisions. Sorry. Um, 
non-gold unit. So that would be this guy who's bronze, and my Geralt is gold. So this is non-gold units. So I won't get destroyed by his will. So I use that one. That's a pretty good one, I find. Okay, is he going to pass this time? No, he's going to play through. Okay. Um, oh, I could use that one. That one's a really good one. That one's no good yet because none of my units have been weakened. Um, I could bring back someone, which I only had the short. That one's quite a strong one. Um, I'll just use this guy. This guy's pretty, pretty good, but not that good. Hit play. Um, and then I use this, who should I take it off? Maybe just that guy. Okay, they're still, still playing. Getting closer to me as well. Um, non-gold units. Choose three non-gold units in the battlefield. Alright, I'll, I'll play that guy then. Remove three strength. So that could kill him, but then I'd only remove two points. So I choose him and him. Oh, a third one. Um, should I remove him? No, I'll do one of those ones. Okay, so they've used their horn, and they're still not close, very close to me. I could lacerate them, which is a pretty, I kind of wanted to save that move. Oh, this one would be a really strong one. So double the strength of all weakened non-gold, that's all the ones in red on my side. Um, that would be a very strong one to use. Maybe i just use that and then maybe he'll forfeit, or pass, whatever it's called. Bam, wow. Okay, so surely you gotta pass. If you're smart, you'll pass. Just thinking? Yeah, <laughs> he's passed. So I use my trump card, I use my best card. Um, and he doesn't need to win this round, I do. So I'll leave it to the last round then. And battle to the death. Right, it's my turn first, so I will play this guy, because this guy's most valuable when he's killed and brought back. So if he gets killed, um, it'll be fine. So I can't do anything to Geralt because he is gold. I might just use my um, clan card, whatever it's called. So it just brings in those two guys. And they used Lacerate, which was a very good move on their part. Um, what does this guy do? I think that this would be a good option. Or should I save it until I bring someone back? So I could bring someone back to the first row and then I want to use it on that person. I'll bring someone back first. Um, okay, let's have a look. Longship. I'll bring this... Oh, what does he do? Okay, I'll bring this guy back because he'll be in the first row. Okay, this is going to be close. 
So I will use this guy on the first row because I can't bring back any other rows. I think I might be set up to win this one. Oh, okay. Still winning. <sighs> Lacerate isn't that good yet because I want a few in the row. That's the only guy I can do it to. So I'll bring back someone else. back the one with the most points seems to make sense oh what is that oh what was that I haven't seen that one before your opponent has forfeited oh what was that card though what did that do that was crazy but I did win send good game I don't know I don't feel confident to do that. <laughs> it's my first game. Um, Spoils of War. Okay. What's happening here? Oh, okay. So this is like my items that I get. Um, I guess I don't get any more. So apparently you can craft your own cards at some point. Um... So I think that went pretty well. I have some knowledge of the Skelliger pack, which kind of helped me. Um, I ended up winning, but I guess I don't know the other people's cards, like the other decks. So it's a little bit, it's hard to know, if I don't know what they have, what I should play. Um, but I guess that's what I'm going to learn. So I'll go in for another round. So that's a similar deck to the monsters from the actual Witcher game. So I don't really like the rain ones because they affect both people. So sometimes they're good, but I'll swap him out. Two war cries I don't think I need. Uh, okay, I'll swap out this again then. Okay, that's a pretty good deck, I think. I love the um, resurrection ones, especially for Skelliger. Some of them, oh, I better start moving and they're going to get annoyed. Um, so something I want to die. Do I have any of those? Yes. So when played from the graveyard, add four. So that just means um, if they die and you bring them back using the priestess card, they're more powerful. So you play them nice and early so you can resurrect them later. Oh, that's a scary thing. Okay. That's what I hate about monsters. Oh, that's what I hate about monsters. Is that they can just summon so many extra ones. That's the same as in the Witcher game. Man, should I forfeit? It's only 16. <sighs> should I forfeit or should I keep trying? Let's have a look. So what is that? Is that a weather card that they've played? Why would they play that against themselves? See what I can do. Mm, should I forfeit? Service interrupted. Okay, well I <laughs> I forfeited. I guess I just forfeited. Must be my internet. Oops, sorry guy. That must have been annoying for him. He was already to play a game. Hopefully my connection will stay this time, unless it was their connection. I don't really know, I can't remember what it said. Oh well. I think I was going to forfeit that one. It's always good to forfeit early rather than playing all your cards. Thank you. Okay, rain, I'll swap out rain. Yeah, that's all right. Swap out a young bear, I don't really like those ones. Yep, that's pretty good. Uh, I want a priestess, so I'll try swapping out this other young bear. Please give me a priestess. Yes. 
perfect. Okay, so it's my turn first. Um, so I will play one of the ones that I want to die. He's more valuable when I can replay him. Let's see what this monster monster card's going to play. So he looks like a gold card, is that correct? Kind of hard to tell. Yeah, that must be gold, so I can't affect him in any way. Um, I'll just play another one of these graveyard cards. <laughs> oh, Vesemir. Cool. Gosh, they have a lot of points, haven't they? Lambert and Eskel. Oh, so they called all their Witcher buddies, I guess. The person has a strong deck. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to pass that round. See what they're going to do. Oh, they did something. I don't know what that is. I don't know what they just did. Can't be good though. Okay. Oh, God. We started off with 13 points. That's so shit. Uh, so it's their turn first. Mm, I could be in trouble here. And that's going to call people, is it? No, it's just, just the one. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to play Geralt, because I just want to get my 12 points on the board, and it can't be taken away from me. Okay, they're playing pretty weak cards, so I think what they're trying to do is bait me into play playing my good cards. Or maybe they're just comfortable with their lead, I'm not sure. But they know I have to win this round. Or maybe they don't, they could be new, I don't know. <laughs> um, Non-gold unit, can't use that one. Yeah, we'll just play this guy, it's not very exciting. He always just gets two points taken off him. I guess that's because you can use your war cry to double him if he has points taken off. It's a little bit strange. So what are you going to do? Manticore. Okay. Oh, he's got some good cards. I'm going to play just a long ship. Get some more points on the ball. Wow, that's scary. That's a scary card. Um, so they've got a bunch of points now. So what's this? That's silver. That's gold. That's gold. Okay. No point using my lacerate. Uh, I might use this guy to get some points on the board. Um, he's just going to call two cards. So now at least we have a bunch of points up there. See where he's going to make his next move. Okay, they're going to take out one of my people. Okay, so... Warcry is good and so is... Oh, so that one's Commander's Horn. Battlecry, because I've got a bunch of weakened units, so I think Battlecry is a good option to play now. So that's going to double those weakened units only, and non-gold units. Okay, so they've got me to play a good card, and now they're passing. And now we have to battle it out in the final round. They get to keep a card on the board because they're monsters ability I guess. Such an OP deck. Um, I'll just play a simple one. I'll play the long ship. Just get some points out there. Okay. <laughs> if 
funded me, whatever the hell that means. Um, yeah, I'll just use this one. Fi fix, fix that long ship a little bit. Okay, yeah, that's the one that summons more. So unfair. Um, um, I might see what I can resurrect before I play that one. So it's going to be 9 if I play it, and then this is going to be... I might get that long ship because then it's all in the same row, which I can then double. Okay, pretty ordinary card. Um, so then I'm going to play this one again. And then this one's going to get four added to it because it's, that's its special ability. Oh my goodness. Wow. Okay, we're still doing well though. Um, so I'm going to double the strength of all these. That should get me a bunch of points. Okay, I think we're looking in a good position at the moment. Um, I'll just use this guy. And see what they've got left. Hopefully not something really strong. Have to be pretty strong to take me out at this point. Yep. Okay, and then I can lacerate them. So I'm going to lacerate the first row. And then we've won, have we? Yay! Okay. Fantastic. So that was a good game. I think that went pretty well. Okay, so it fills up every time we win one, and then we get our materials. I don't know anything about crafting yet, though. Um, so that was my first time trying playing out against other um, real people. And I think it was really good. I mean, it's still just as fun as playing it in The Witcher. I think being able to play against real people is going to make it a lot more interesting. They've definitely taken the monsters down a peg. Uh, I think that was a little bit too strong in the original Witcher. A lot of the mechanics seem to be quite similar or exactly the same. And I definitely kind of beefed it up in terms of the voice acting and pictures and effects and stuff like that, which isn't super important to me. I'm more interested in, in the actual gameplay. Um, but, you know, the gameplay in The Witcher was almost perfect. I was totally obsessed with that, with that game, mini game, I guess. Um, so they got it right in the beginning and then they've just kind of beefed it up a bit, I guess. Um, I guess I can't really comment on the balance of the game at this point because I haven't only played two proper games. Um, but it seems pretty good so far. I mean, I did win, so I guess maybe I'm a bit biased. But um, yeah, it seems like it's everything I had hoped for in this game when I saw that it was coming out. So I'm really hoping that it stays that way and that I don't find kind of things I don't like about it. Um, but for the moment, I'm pretty excited. So thanks for listening.